Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through TCP connection management model guys. So basically we discussed about connections, right? So how establishment is done, how data transfer is done, how termination is done, right? So there is a small management diagram like the flow guys. The flow is discussed in a single diagram and that diagram we'll be discussing in this lecture. Okay, so we'll be discussing about all these three stages guys. Okay, is the image clear? Just give me a second, I will check. Okay, image is not clear. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, I think this image is clear, right? Okay. Okay, so this is the TCP state-based diagram or it is also called as a connection management diagram, guys. So if you observe here, initially the server or the client, guys, I'll be just giving you a clear information, don't worry. So if you observe here, there are, sorry, there are blue lines, right? So the blue lines are nothing but the sender or server guys. Whereas the red lines are for client. The red lines. Okay. So there are two particular paths. So if you recall the connection. So if this is the sender and this is the receiver. So one will be sending the request and other will be listening. Right. So indirectly. So he will be listening and one will be sending the request. He will be sending the acknowledgement and he will be saying that okay I am ready to connect. And the both will be connected. After that, they will be sharing the data and when they are trying to close, the first one will be sending the request, the fin request guys, the first one will be sending the fin request, the second one will be accepting it and he will be sending his own friend request, fin request and they both will be disconnected one after the other. So the first who sent, they will be disconnected and automatically based on that acknowledgement, he will also be disconnected, right? Yes. Okay. So that whole thing is discussed in this diagram guys. Okay. So if you notice here, even the step numbers are also written. Okay. So step one is nothing but connection in guys, connect or SYN. SYN is indicating that sync connection guys, sorry, synchronous connection, like a full duplex and at the same rate of speed. Okay. And this whole process, the above this box, like above this green box is nothing but establishing the connection. Below this box is nothing but to terminate the connection. In between is the transfer of data. So we are not showing any kind of, sorry. As in transfer of data, we will not be changing any states, right? So, we'll be just continuously sending, getting acknowledgement, sending, getting acknowledgement or getting piggy banked, right? So, that is the reason why we are not showing anything. So, now let us go through the diagram. So, initially, we are not having anything. So, if, so the receiver will be listening, right? Okay. So, now the server will be sending a request. Okay. So, the server will be sending a request. Okay. And it is, it starts keeping listening, right? The server, right? So, the client or the receiver will be sending the request and based on that the server will be waiting right the server is in listening state so once the request is sent so here assume the green sorry the red line is for client right so the client is sending a request so that is nothing but sin send okay so the sing the request has been sent so then the listener the listener is nothing but the server it will listen right so it will listen and it will receive the signal and it will send an acknowledgement right yes so based on this acknowledgement, the sync will also, the client will also send the request. So assume that blue is the server guys and red is the client. So I'll be explaining it to you again. Don't worry. So initially the server will be in the listening state only. Okay. The client will be sending a request. So request is sent. That is nothing but sync sent. So once this is sent, the server will be moving to listening state. Now it's in listening state. So that from listening states, once it receives this request, it will be sending to, it will receiving the, it will receive the request and it will send the acknowledgement back. So once this acknowledgement is received, again, our client will be making the sync plus acknowledgement, right? The final establishment is done. So now the establishment is done. Okay. So once establishment is done, the data transfer will continue guys. So once the whole data transfer is completed, we will be closing it. Okay. So if you assume close and fin act, fin with acknowledgement and close with fin. So basically fin with acknowledgement is something you can say that directly the server is closing guys. Okay. So basically this process is directly the server is closing without intimating the client. This part that is called as passive close and this is active close. So in active close you will be waiting for a particular time. So if you notice here you are having waiting times right. So fin wait one fin wait two closing and time wait. So basically before closing, it will wait for the acknowledgement from the server. So from, sorry, from the client and it will be closing. Okay. So this is for closing and this is for establishing and this is for transferring data. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? Okay. Just give me a second guys. 
okay so till now we discussed about multiple things right okay so now we will be seeing them in definitions right guys okay so closed i think if you recall there is a closed right initially we started with closed only so this is no connection this shows okay so listen server is a waiting for an incoming call okay listening it is waiting and sync received server received a connection request is nothing but sync received sync sent the application is sending established the connection has been established fin wait application is waiting to terminate so it is ready to terminate but it is waiting for the response fin wait to the other side response agreed but it is still waiting for the acknowledgement timed wait so it is waiting for the particular time to wait to the until the packet die and to resend the packet similarly closing both side have tried to close simultaneously means closing so close and wait so the other side is initial initially initiating a release okay so last acknowledgement waiting for the last acknowledgement okay okay just by observing the diagram you can write uh, multiple theory guys so i have just given some steps here okay okay so server will always be listening and the client will be asking he will be sending sync and once it is ready it will be moving to sync received and with acknowledgement sent and client is sending the acknowledgement finally now the connection has established after that the data transfer will be done using any kind of protocol like sliding window or any kind of protocol so once all is done again the client will be detached that is nothing but that terminated so if client wants to close he will be using fin for, and the acknowledgement and fin from the server once it received it will be closed that's it okay so this is all about the tcp connection management guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this right so in the next lecture we will be going through tcp policies guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching